Hello, hello. So here's the situation. You have these nice shutters in the house. And your kid threw a baseball at the uh, shutters and knocked one off. And so you came over here and said, oh my gosh, the shutters knocked off. And then upon a good inspection, you say, oh, they're held in by little dowel rods on the side. And oh, this one's broken off. So here is how to fix that. First, you want to pull your shutter out, get it all the way over. And what you'll find is you can't take these windows apart because when these were made, the dowel rods were pre-inserted into the shutters. So what I did was this. I figured this part of the shutter is exposed when the window is open, but it's usually not exposed. So what I did was... I drilled a hole straight through here where the dowel rod went in. I put a hole through there and I drilled the dowel rod out on this shutter here into a hole. And you're like, okay, who cares? Why do you want to do that? Well, this is why. So I took a screw like this and I shaved off the threads on the end with a grinder. And so this will go into here. And I'll just screw it in like that. And what'll happen is it'll screw in like this. And it'll screw into the shutter and keep it aligned because this becomes a new dowel rod. And so I haven't tried this yet, but I will try it now. So I'm gonna lift the shutter up and try and line it up. So we'll put this into here. And we're gonna screw this in until it pops out the end there. So now I gotta find my uh, screwdriver bit here for the drill. And let me put that in there, give me a second. Well here, here we go. So now we're facing up at me and I'm gonna put the correct bit in because this video is very unscripted, but I thought people would wanna see how this works. Put the bit back in the drill. Put it on slow speed, and that's about it. Now we're going to come back to the camera, and I'm going to screw this thing in just enough to get it to poke through, and hopefully it won't crack the shutter. Let's see how it pokes through if it does. Okay, we're looking for it. There it is, right there. Now, now that it's poked through. You want to pick up your, whoa, you want to pick up your shutter and get it to screw in exactly. So I already have it out too far, so I want to screw it back a tiny bit. And then we're going to put it through. So let's do that. And I think I also want to make sure the shutter is on the right way. Okay, it is aligned correctly. Going to screw it back a tad. And I did. The shutter fell off. Let's now hold the shutter up and try and make it line up. I guess I want to screw it forward a bit because with one hand I can't do it. So let's screw it forward just a tad. And now we're going to see if we can get it to line up. Let's go forward a little more. And I'm just going to try and get it to friction fit in here by forcing it in. There it is. It's, okay, now it's in there. You see how I can kind of wiggle it now and it's in. So now we're going to screw this thing all the way in. And it should work. Okay, make sure it doesn't go the wrong way and crush everything. Okay, we're in a little bit. Make sure it's going in. See that? It's, it looks like it's in the slot now that we drilled in the shutter. So we'll take it in all the way. 
Okay, so now the problem is that it's in, but the screw head is protruding from the, uh, so, it, so the fix worked enough, but the screw head is protruding, so we gotta take this screw out and put a countersink in there. So to do that, we're gonna use a larger drill bit. So yeah, the fix worked, but we forgot about that. So out it comes. There, so we, we know this will work, but we have to get a drill bit that's big enough for the head of the screw to put a little countersink in there so the screw can go in all the way and not be sticking out. So find yourself a drill bit suitable for a countersink. It's dangerous using one of these because they'll grip in there. Is this big enough? Let's see. That is big enough, I think. Yep, well, that'll help. What about this one? One of these guys here. Is this too big? Mm, nope, that's pretty good. All right, let's try this chopper bit here. Put our screw down there. So with one hand, this is not so fun, but this is how it is. Let's put this big chopper bit in here and try to not go the window with this thing. All right, so going the wrong way. Yep. High speed. Okay, now we're on high speed. Now we're going to go to the hole here and try not to destroy the whole thing and Chop it in. I can't because the window is closed. Open the window. I need to get an angle to this thing. The window doesn't open that way, so it won't help. All right, let's try it the way it is. Seems like this is going to destroy the world. Okay, that is sufficient, I think, for that little screw to go in there. That is for sure. Let's go back to slow speed and put the drill bit, put the screwdriver back on here. Okay, screw up is back on. Now we're gonna put the screw back in there. Here's the screw. And I guess you could put some putty in here to clean it up if you wanted to. I'm not gonna bother. But anyway, here we go again. And we're on high speed, aren't we? Yep, it was slow speed. Nope, it was slow speed. Okay, slow speed. And now the trick again is we, we just creep it out of here. Okay, it's barely showing its face now. It's, let me try and hook this into here again. It's out too far, so we're gonna put it in a little, put it in a click here. That's enough. That's probably in too far which it is, so we're going to go out. Okay, already 10 minutes has burned up doing this. Okay, that's in a tad. And now we're going to try and just slip it in there. Okay, I want to go in one more tad of a turn in a fraction here. There's a fraction. Now, can this thing grip onto there? Yeah. In one more fraction. There, it's in a fraction. Now, if I had a helper here, it would be easier, but I don't. Okay, so that's still not good. In one more fraction. There we are. 
And let's try it. Okay, that's good. Let's put this thing on the hole. Okay, that is good. You can feel it's locked in now to the hole. Now carefully screw it in. Make sure it's in the hole. Just take it in a bit. Make sure it's in where it should be. It's in, it's in. Now take it all the way in. And the screw should recess into that hole we drilled with the countersink. Okay, the screw is in enough. We're not going to drive it all the way in, just it has to be a little less than flush with the uh, window, which it is. And now our, our little window uh, flapper thing here is fixed. Our little, um, yeah, it's fixed, so we're good to go. So now we can close the window and make sure it works. Well, it'll work because we're, we're flush, we're less than flush, so this thing's fixed. So now you need to put a little nail in there, maybe get some of the dirt out of here with a vacuum cleaner or a duster and your job is complete. There, it's all done. Now we can close this thing up and see what happened. Make sure to you lock your window. Okay, locked. Locked. Close your window and make sure it works. There, it's closed. So this one now, yeah, it's moving, so. So that's fixed. So all we have to do now is get a nail for this one, which is missing its little nail. So that fixed this guy really nice. All right, that concludes our how to fix a uh, blind, a solid blind, with a drill and a screw and a countersink. Thanks for watching. Again, you're going to need a couple drill bits here. So you know the drill bit kit. And you might want to use this drill bit here. You'll need a big screw like I showed you. You'll need a grinder to grind off the threads. And you'll need a screwdriver and a drill. Okay? And I used vice grips to grind it off. I held the screw with vice grips and I ground off the screw. And that's it. Okay? Thanks for watching. Have a great day.